All right. So what's going on, um, guys? This is Mario back in the video. So I just had a conversation with Mr. Andrew Thomas and Travis uh, Brandon, aka Real Scrap Videos on Billy, and they was talking about how Billy is going down a drain. Billy is becoming worse than YouTube, pretty much from more like um, Zipcast in these latter days, where the admin the site is like being a jerk to people. And people are leaving sight left and right, and like, like you know, I just want to get my thoughts on it. Like, I don't, I knew about this like a, like a, a week ago, but I didn't know how bad it was going to get. Because for me, I've been away from Bitly for a minute. I've been, like, I've been still uploading videos, but I haven't been like as consistent as I was in late 2017. Because one of my goals for this year was just like, was to have a, a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I knew if I did it on YouTube, I could, I could make it anywhere. So, like, you know, even though YouTube has its problems, even though I wish it was, I, I wish, you know, it was a little bit easier to make, to get views on YouTube, you know, with the whole algorithm system. Like, I, I know that I, I had this every reality and say that, hey, YouTube is the biggest platform. You know, there's no other alternative out there, really. You know, I wish, you know, YouTube be like Facebook, where Facebook has alternatives, you know, you can just Snapchat. Whereas YouTube, you have no alternative video sharing site. YouTube's more, you know, lies on Facebook than it is with, you know, Bitly and, like, Bitly and stuff like that. You know, but with all that being said, um, you know, with Bitly, you know, I got a, a pretty sizable audience. I have over 100 subscribers. I make quite a bit of friends on that site. Um, like Linda, you know, Austin Sanders Surfers, um, Travis, Wheels Grand Videos, Mike World 21, Mr. Andrew Thomas, Not Snappy, Big Mushroom Fan, you know, so many others I made friends with on Bitly. And like these guys were really nice to me. They really helped me make my channel better. They told me what should I do to, you know, get more views and subscribers. And like, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the, the love and constructive criticism that I wanted to do, you know, and, you know, especially during a time when I was just like, you know, you know, 2017 was kind of one of those years where I felt like, you know, I needed to do something, you know, because, you know, my life, you know, I was kind of stuck. I felt kind of stagnated in my life, you know, during that time period, you know, uh, you know, this was when I was going through the, where I was just going through it, the process of, you know, finding myself really, like really finding my purpose and really just like going through a, a period where I was just like, okay, God, this didn't work out for me. You know, my, this year, I graduated this year, you know, um, I lost a best, I lost, you know, a friend who I thought was going to be best friends and we ended up being, we ended up just being distant, totally distant from each other, not speaking, none of that stuff. Um, you know, I thought I was going to Atlanta, you know, but that didn't work out. You know, I thought I was going to Atlanta and, and, and do a spoken word over there, but that didn't work out. So it was just, it was just, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in my life that I felt, it was a lot of disappointments in my life that, you know, during that time period. And I was like, okay, well, if I can't, if I can't, you know, you know, if I can't, you know, if I can't go to open mics, if I can't do spoken word, if I can't do any stuff that I want to do, I, you know, at least I have YouTube. At least I have the internet. So I just, I just stuck with YouTube. You know, I wasn't getting any views, no subscribers. I wasn't getting any, any views. So I'm just like, okay, well, you know, I just try hard. I just try to learn an algorithm. But then, you know, in August of that year, I found Bitly through in the 2000s. I found out a thread about Bitly. And that's what changed my life, you know, for that whole the rest of 2017. Because now it's like, oh, God, I got following, I got views, I got subscribers, you know, but I knew that, you know, I knew the history of the of Vidley, you know, that Vidley was Richard Vidley, and then I got shut down. And then it was Vidley Future, you know, which was a whole, which was AM site, and I got shut down. So I knew that really probably, I, I had to, you know, like, I kind of had an idea that video was going to last too long, so I just stuck with YouTube. I use YouTube for, like, live streaming and doing podcasts and stuff, while I use Billy for, like, blogging and, like, poetry stuff. So, like, that was, you know, that was, um, you know, 
that was my strategy. I was like, if Billy does become big, I'll stick with Billy. But if Billy just shuts down, I'll still have YouTube, you know. So that I, I just, I just, so like when I sign up for Billy, I show people, I link my YouTube channel to my, um, on my Billy profile page, so people can find me on YouTube. And so if people want to want to follow me, like Linda or Travis or Not Snappy, they could like watch me on YouTube. You know, just in case Philly shuts down. But you know what? Nah, you know he he's like you know he made it look like he really he learned from mistakes. You know, did fit. You know, communities for the most part was pretty nice. But then around like October, that's when all the drama started happening. With, at least from what I saw, because I know there was drama before that. But like you know, it was around October when I started really seeing the drama, the consistent drama. You know, they had the Chrono and. Uh, Cartoon K drama, you know, before I love anime. Um, we had, uh, you know, Cracking Lord, Mistake T drama. We had the, uh, we had the Applesauce drama, you know. I mean, there was so much drama that was going on, you know, Malicious getting banned. Like, I mean, they had NFKRZ, this big YouTuber, what happened, subscribers, shout out Vidly, and then everybody was like freaking out because. You know, there's this whole mess with the servers, and it was just so much, you know, back and forth going on on Bitly. And then around early this year, that's when, around like late last year, early this year, that's when Nam just started becoming more aggressive with his, you know, rules. He started banning people left and right, and then people started hating on Yarn. And, and then, you know, Yarn, you know, forgave those people, he banned it, you know, malicious, and Mega Master came back to Bitly. And you know, it looks like everything's going back to normal. You know, Vince when was coming out, everybody's excited about that. Um, you get longer upload videos, so, you know. So it looked like everything was going back to normal. But then just last week, you know, I heard that Billy's gonna have a new uh, moderator, you know, Ali. And Ali, you know, from what I heard, it's a lot worse than Jan. He's a lot worse than Yon. I mean, he's very He's very, you know, politically correct, you know, very SJW type of person where he'll ban you for saying you lean aside, he'll ban you for, you know, cursing and stuff like that. And, you know, granted, I kind of see where you come from because in my server, I did make a rule that you can't curse in my server. So I'm not going to act like, you know, I'm not going to act like I'm holier than now, you know, because, you know, my server, you know, I don't, you know, I tell people not to curse, but at the same time, I don't ban people for, for cursing because I know that, you know, that's how some people just got a bad day. But if you do it to just, but if you do it just to be like stupid or ignorant or just do it just to be like an edge lord, that's when I had to like, you know, put that, put that, you know, hammer on you. But in general, you know, I'll, I'll let you curse as long as, as long as you're not doing it from a, you know, as long as you're not doing it, you know, as long as you're not doing it excessively, you know, you're not just putting out f bombs every sentence, you know. So, you know, because because again, we're human, we're gonna slip up, you know. That's how you know we're human. But my point is that you know, I I can see where it comes from, you know, because Billy has a lot of trolls, you know. Billy, like every other site, has trolls, and with Billy, it's like a, a lot a lot of trolling has been going on lately. But, but you know, for me, how they were chose, I just like either ignore them, I just don't respond to their comments, or just try, flat out block them. You know, like I don't really deal with trolls like that. You know, I don't, I don't go, I don't worry about going back and forth with trolls. I mean, I still let them get their opinions, you know, and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna let trolling keep me from, you know, keep me from enjoying my life. Because I got a lot more other things to worry about, you know. I'm about to graduate college soon, and I don't got time for internet drama, none of that stuff. So that's that's been my whole, that's been my mindset from day one. Like, you know, if you got a problem with the way I do things, you know, cool. But if you don't do it, if you gonna be stupid about it, gonna say you suck, you you a faggot, you this, you that, you know, just say mean things about me and like make videos about me. Then, then I'm trying to, you know, then you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to comment on my channel, you know, you're not allowed to say anything on my channel, you know, but 
you know, malicious. You know, me and malicious we kind of had a little, not not drama, but we kind of had a little bit of a, you know, like of a, of a, um, how can I say, what's the best word? A miss, you know, a miss conduct. You know, this is that the right word because, um, you know, malicious, you know, me and malicious, we were cool from, from the beginning. I kind of knew he's kind of, I mean, he's kind of infamous for trolling, but he does it in a way that's not, he does it in a way to, you know, to be like funny and stuff like that. He's not really like, you know, I never really saw him as a bully until, you know, until like Crackmore and like other people started saying he had a problem with malicious. And then, you know, and then, you know, Travis and, you know, was saying Travis and Noah was having a problem with malicious, then it was gotten so bad to where he was making fun of me, him, him, TCT, and I ended up having to ban malicious and hexaglider for about a month or so. But then, you know, after, you know, coming to grace with him, yeah, then we started, you know, dealing with cool again. So, you know, what, what I'm basically trying to say in this video is that, you know, you know, I like Billy. Billy was really was like the first was my first taste of internet success because I felt like, you know, I don't you know, because I didn't have no fan base and I have no subscribers. You know, when I came to Philly, I only had like 16, 15 subscribers, 14 subscribers on YouTube. You know, I was, you know, I was like, you know, even though I had over 100 videos on YouTube already, like I had no audience, you know. So like, it was like the only way I get an audience, you know, fast. And like and, then, and I could do it consistently and I didn't know the more I do it, the more views I'll get. And sometimes I'll get hundreds of hundred views on a video depending on the topic and depending on how many tags. So it was very easy for me to get views. But unfortunately, all that's changed. So hopefully um I find another site that can that can help me grow my brand. Uh, right now. Everybody's looking. Everybody's looking towards. To, everybody's looking towards BitChute as the alternative website to go. And Vanello, Vanello, or uh, how do you say it? Has a new site to go on. So that's it for this video. This is Mario. Peace out.